And welcome back to Chapter 8 of the My Pokemon Academia crossover series. Last time on My Pokemon Academia, Shinsa and Deku had both won their second gym bag, the badge, the Wave Motion Badge. Now they're on. Now her, them Asui. Excuse me. Now Deku, Shinsa, and Asui are on the way uh, to go to Night Vale. If I got the name of that city right, I should know it. Yeah, Night Vale, Night Reach. Sorry, Night Reach City for the third gym badge. And on their way, they're heading through Sweet Vale Farms. But we actually open up with something completely different. A Pokemon battle going on. The Pokemon battle not involving either of the two guys actually aiming for the gym challenge. Asui finds herself in the battle with a Houndour and her Croagunk. Uh, the battle's been going on for a little while. Meanwhile, you know, uh, Shinzo and uh, Deku are on the side just cheering on. Come on, you can, you can do it, Asui! Come on, you can do it! Yeah! So, and, you know, Asui's feeling encouraged that her uh, that her little crush, she had, uh, crush Deku is cheering on, and her friend Shinzo. They've got all gotten to know each other pretty well. It's been, they've known each other now for about a week. And, you know, they're, they're getting to know each other pretty well. And she, she admits she's got a little crush on uh, Deku at the moment. Um, but, you know, it, it, Kroger is struggling. Uh, Hound uh, and uh, fires off an ember attack. Kroger dodges, lands a poison sting right to the uh, underside of Hound who's now poisoned. And then Asui then uh, ends it with a mud snap. And then mud slap being a ground attack would be very effective against a fire type. Ultimately. Uh, puts Houndour down, and the winner, Houndour's un un unable to win. The winner is Krogunk and Asui. Yeah, we did it, Krogunk. Trainer's just, yeah, oh, darn it. Uh, in, uh, he's, you'll get trainers who are like, oh, that was a great match, and then you'll get trainers like, how could you beat me? I like this guy to be the, how could you beat me type? Uh, but yeah, so that's how we open up this episode. It's, like, it's amazing. We opened up pretty uh, impressive there. So, these guys are now just heading through. Now, the route to get to um, the Sweet Vale Farm. Sweet Vale Farm is kind of like just your standard farm. I mean, it's a town, too. Lots of silo, barn-looking buildings. But it's a town, large field. But there is trees and rocky outposts and some hills that get like uh, through there. And a couple caves here or there. So it isn't the, necessarily the most simplistic route, but it's also nothing amazing. Which is why it's really weird for them when they suddenly hear a lot of roaring and banging on their way there. Because they're on their way now. Um, on their way there. And you're hearing a lot of this, like rocks being destroyed. All of a sudden they hear just... Like, what, the, what is that? All of a sudden, two, the two figures... The group of figures are just... Uh, not just two, but groups of two. All the groups of two are seen just duking it out. Duraldons and Tyranitars, which aren't normally common in this area, have come down from the mountains and just start duking it out. It's like, oh, oh my god, Tyran that's a Tyranitar, that's a Duraldon! Uh, and she's like, we should move now, because none of their Pokemon are at any point, <laughs> or at any level, to which they could handle one of those, let alone both of those, and multiple groups of both of them. All of a sudden, though, they hear they hear a noise, like, have no fear, citizens! <laughs> For I am here. Or for, wait, what is? For I am here. And all of a sudden, All Might is just there. And he throws out his Pokeball. Uh, his Machamp comes out. I'm not putting the image of Machamp here. Machamp's here. Uh, gonna show up later. Uh, spoiler. Uh, but Machamp's there. He's busy taking on Dural. Meanwhile, All Might is actually physically taking on the Tyranitar and winning. And just, and just ha ha, take this, control, smash, boom, then just kind of knocks the train out. I put all, all my, and spoiler, all for one, are like the, the pinnacle of kind of like human Pokemon evolution, if you will, on this. Remember how I put it that quirks in this world are just kind of physical traits for the most part? All my, and all for one, transcend that they actually have abilities. They are the only individuals that we know of in this world that have abilities. That's why All Might is such a symbol of peace. But I was like, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, you young uh, you, you young kids had to get mixed up in this. And he recognizes Deku. Oh, it's like, ah, oh, young Midoriya, how are you? It's like, um, All Might, you know my name! And All Might's like, oh, um, oh, yes, you, I believe I heard something about you getting into a bat, because he did probably hear it. He maybe either saw it from the crowd or did hear about the Bakudo fight. Bakudo, you got into a uh, battle, I find many, a pretty heated one back in the square. Ah, oh, did everyone hear about that? Oh, I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm dealing with a bit of a thing here at the moment. My champ, and 
have both deal with their opponent, and a few more are coming. And say, uh, I was like, well, what's going on? Apparently, the Torrents are under all on in the area. I've been very... They, they're getting very irate with each other. They don't get along to begin with, you understand. So, so they, so I was, uh, I was uh, politely asked to take care of the problem. Of course, as the champion of the region, uh, he punches another one away. I am more than willing to help out any aid. <laughs> ah, and then all of a sudden, as uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, they, Trim and Machamp, he returns Machamp, like, whew, and he's thinking they're all taken care of and knocked out. It's like, well, I'll temporarily catch these individuals, catch them at Ultra Balls, and then I'll take them back, and then I'll take them back and release them properly. And all of a sudden, uh, Deku sees, uh, Deku sees, because they're, they're kind of near cliffy, mountainy area at the moment, uh, with some trees, mind you, but there, there's, uh, there's some caves and stuff. Anyway, point being, Deku sees, wait, oh my, is he sees a Tarantar preparing a hyperbeam, look out, like, hmm? Uh, uh, Midoriya, what are you doing? Boy, what are you doing? Uh, he's like, look out! It's like, uh, Deku, and All Might's the one who catches it, too. He's like, no! Uh, it's like, if he hits the boy, he, he might get killed, and then all of a sudden, All Might just takes the black Iberine full in the back, which causes him not only to get separated from the group, but basically to them to go down, uh, basically get smothered by rocks. Luckily, there's a cave system in there, so they're kind of trapped in a cave at the moment. Um, but uh, it, it, they basically, uh, the rocks collapse and they get just trapped down there. The Tyranitar, though, uh, you know, it's currently MIA at the moment that did it. And now Shinzo and Asui are scared as hell. It's like, oh my god, is, is Midori okay? He's like, oh, he's with all my, I mean, he's, he's gotta be okay, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> they start trying to take him out. These are Pokemon the best they get. Meanwhile, Midoriya and All Might are, you know, in the under the ground. Like, Ugh, are you okay? Are you okay, Midoriya? I was like, uh, I'm fine, All Might. Thanks, I, th thanks for anything. Maybe it was like, no, no, please, no. It was if you hadn't if you hadn't warned me about the hyper beam, we all would have been in trouble. But still, you should you shouldn't have been so reckless like that. I'm sorry. It's just I remember how you are. You're always jumping in to save people. I just watch it. I don't have any lineage or anything like that. But I want. I just wanted to help you and. Please, I just gotta ask you one thing. Do you think someone who doesn't have any sort of lineage in Pokemon and who comes from a family of just, you know, standard people, can he be as good a champion as you, maybe? And, you know, uh, can, can he be just like you? And, you know, All Might, you can look at him. Medora, you have to understand. And then Medora's doing that thing where he turned around and like, no, not now. Ugh, not now. Not here. And then, uh, I just, I just need to know if you think I can be just like you someday. And then always say, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> oh, that's actually a pretty good, like, you know, random thing. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I didn't even know I could make that noise. Uh, you know, it's like, ah, what happened to all my eyes? <laughs> all my eyes say, I am, I, I am, you're looking at him, kid. I can very well assure you I am all might. <laughs> Wait, you're all might? What happened? Uh, that happened, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I mean, is yes, you know, guys suck it, suck in your guts at the at the beach to make themselves look bigger. That, I'm kind, I'm like that basically. What is what? Yeah, but 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 how? Why? And then he just sits down and gives a story about the injury. Uh, about five years ago, I got a nasty wound from Mary. Pretty gross, right? Right? Yeah, I, a lot. My circulatory system was fed beyond, nearly beyond repair. I lost my entire stomach. Now I can only, now I can only really look the way I used to for about three hours a day. Otherwise, I look like this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, to be a hero like me, I got I got to tell you, kid, it's not not something that'd be an easy thing for anyone to do. Um, and his explanation is similar to what he did originally, but it is different. In this version, it's not so much you know quirks. Some else can't be taken down without quirks. Like. This the reason I'm able to do what I do is because for some reason my uh, I was I inherited, unlike anyone else, I actually inherited the strength to go along with my appearance. But the truth is, I truth is that smile I put on, uh, it's all the mere it's all a it's all a ruse to hide just how scared I am during during battles. The dirt when I help people, it's really just a coward trying to mask his presence. Yeah, but you're not a coward, Omar. Oh you help so many people. I mean, I mean what about what about your what about what you were doing here and like something. Of course, that is, but it doesn't mean I wasn't scared, kid. Honestly, these days I'm worried at any, t at any point my uh, my abilities will crap out. I won't be able to uh, be able to call myself a real champion anymore, let alone a trainer. Uh, or excuse me, call myself a real trainer anymore, let alone a champion. I don't I don't believe this. Is it? 
it's not it's not so wrong to have dreams, kid. Maybe one day you could be a better champion than me. But I'm not saying to be like me. You know, I don't think you'll ever or to be a champion. But to be like me, kid, I'm sorry. And I, I'm, I'm there's no real way to be just like me. Um, and honestly, kid, I wouldn't recommend being me. I'm not the man I used to be. You know, All Might in this is similar to how he used to be. He was a bit down. Let's be honest. All Might was down on himself when we first met him. Like, he... He really, he just thought he couldn't do anything beyond what he was capable of. They see Midoriya go into action again, just like, hey, he remembered why he, uh, why he became a hero, to help people. Uh, eventually, they see that the, um, the, the rocks are being cleared. Uh, looks like your friends have got, been quick at work getting us out of here. Uh, you got some good friends there. Well, let's go. It's like, but, uh, oh my, aren't you, aren't you scared that you're going to, uh, don't worry, kid. Uh, don't worry, kid. I, I walk around in this form all day. I can just say I'm an explore. Just tell them I'm an explorer who got lost, and that All Might was able to. Uh, uh, I saw All Might save you, and then hell off on his own. He's like, oh, I mean, doesn't that make you look a little bad? It's like, uh, it's, it's better than the alternative. So, uh, so, and all, again, Midori is just looking at. I was like, this can't be the All Might I know. Like, he. The All Might I know is always protecting people. He's always he's always got a smile on his face. This this isn't. What happened to him? And so, you know, they're walking out, and, you know, they finally get out of it. Ah, Deku, uh, Midoriya, you're okay. Well, who's this? Uh, he's just an explorer. I, uh, he's, he's uh, just, uh, it's like, and as, you know, they're about to ex uh, and explain what's going on, all of a sudden, they hear, they hear another sound of, you know, fighting going on. That, what, well, Tyranitar, the fire of the hype green, has made it to the other side, and Duraludon has made it down the left, and they're starting to duke it again. Oh, it's like, not again. I thought we got, I thought I took care of them all. Ugh. And, and, and then, you know, <laughs> and, uh, All Might reaches for his Pokeball, but he pauses, like, I can't, I won't be able to fight with my Pokemon at my side. Uh, I, I, I mean, but they're strong enough, right? He's even doubting the strength of the Pokemon he's raised, the trainer's like, uh, no, it's like, oh, All Might, and, like, and all of a sudden, the fighting's getting close to, um, Shinso and um, and Asui and All Might and, and Midori is like, what do I do? What do I do? All of a sudden, there's a blur. Getting the oh, picture of these guys up here again. There's a blur, and the, and All Might sees a green blur, mind you. And All Might sees Deku throw out Larvesta and just say, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I'll protect you no matter what, no matter what, Larvesta. And Larvesta and Larvesta's there. Of course, Larvesta's no fool. Larvesta realizes that. It can't be a Tyranitar. It can't be a... If for some reason all of the Duraludon's hits missed, the steel typing against fire might work in Larvesta's favor, but it's a slim chance. Um, at least at the level the is at right now. Uh, and, and again, All Might just... Uh, all of a sudden... Uh, all of a sudden, the Tyranodon and Tyranitar... Excuse me, Duraludon and... Tyr the Tyranodon. Uh, the Duraludon and the Tyranitar both kind of do notice Larvesta... And Deku there, and they just, uh, it's like, uh, it's like no. And then all of a sudden, Shinzo and Asui send up Frogadier and Inke. It's like, guys, like we're with, you know, we're, we're with you no matter what, Midoriya. It's like that's right. And it's like, oh, it's like no, those kids. It's like no, they'll be killed. They'll be killed. And then all of a sudden, Trand, uh, Trand, I almost did it again. Tranchar and Arada both came, both about to attack. It's like, uh, and all of a sudden, boom! There's that. There's that. Um, um, there's the, uh, there's the sound of, the, the, the attacks don't land, uh, and all of a sudden they look up, and a Machamp is holding the Tyranitar, uh, or, or, no, you'd be holding the Duraludon, and all of a sudden they hear, they hear the, uh, they hear uh, a voice, I really am pathetic, aren't I? All of a sudden they see him, oh my there, man, <laughs> uh, I lectured you about being a good champion, but I see I wasn't living up to my own ideals! And then all of a sudden, you know, you get that music down, and and and, but yeah, dynamic, dynamic punch, and don't you have dynamic punch? And then the champ's just winding up for that dynamic punch. Joto, and they both simultaneously smash. Boom! They both <laughs> knock the Duraldon and the Tarantar out cold. Boom! And, the, and both Shinso and Asui are both, and even Deku are just like, ah. <laughs> Uh, and that's that, <laughs> my champ. 
Uh, Machamp would actually be even tired, too, at this point, let's be clear. Because he also had to fight another Tyranitar earlier. So he wouldn't be, uh, he wouldn't be, uh, as all, um, fresh and ready to go like he was initially. Still, you know, <laughs> I want to thank you, young man. I want to thank you, young Midoriya, for all you... <laughs> and he turns back and like, wait, on! And like, uh, yeah, and then all my like, well, I guess I... Well, I gotta kill him now. I know. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. That'd be dark, but funny. Um... <laughs> so, and, you know, All Might just, ugh, cut to a little bit later as All Might explains what happened with him to Asui and Shinso, and they're both like, wow, that, that, that's amazing. And it's like, so you, you fight on even though you're injured like that? I do. It's like, that's amazing. You really are the greatest champion we ever had. And All Might kind of looks at him and is like, wait, you, you don't see me as are you, I'm weak? Of course not. I mean, just because... The fact of the matter is, none of us are able to fight with our Pokemon at all. So, I mean, even even if you are one day can't fight anymore, your Pokemon are still amazing. And you are an amazing trainer to be able to raise them. That's right. That doesn't mean you're still never going to be our hero. And then it seems it's like, after all, you're the one You're the one in the region everyone aspires to. And all might actually can almost starts getting a little teary-eyed. Because, like, these kids, these are the next generations. Like, and he's just, these kids really are the next generation. <laughs> to think I to think I can inspire such goodness uh, goodness in the world today. Uh, thank you. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need you to keep this a secret. Is like, of course, no, mum's mum's the word. It's like, of course, all might absolutely. We'll never we'll never betray that secret, that trust. Thank you. Uh, I thank you all. Well, I assume you're off to the Sweet Vale Farm. I'll actually I'll actually see you kids there. I'm hosting. A, I'm going to be a special host at an event there. It's like real, oh, really awesome. And all of a sudden, he it, well. Also, I, uh, well, he could travel with them, but I, I, I'd travel with you, but I actually need to get there early. So and he brings up Bra uh, Braviator, Leon's name, the uh, bald eagle Pokemon, and, like, and gets on there. <clears throat> and gets ready to fly off, but, oh, Midoriya, that reminds me. I want I want you to have this. And he's like, what, what's this? Uh, oh, wait, it's a Pokemon. Is, is there, are you giving me a Pokemon? Well, oh, open it up and check it out. And he opens up the Pokeball. And lo and behold, Eevee pops out. It's like, I've been trying to find a good home for this little guy for a while. Uh, I think, and I think I found the right trainer to, uh, to lead him with. It's like, are you sure about this, Oh Miami? I mean, I mean th this Eevee must be special. And all, all, remember, Midoriya, all Pokemon are special if you give them the chance. But yes, I, I think this little guy, I think you and this little guy are going to get along just fine. Eevee just kind of like looks at uh, Dagger's like, uh, I'm, I'm, Midor I'm Izuku Midoriya. Uh, I, I, I guess I'm your new trainer. I mean, that's okay. And Eevee just kind of smells his hand, looks at him, and just boom, jumps on him. Just Eevee nuzzles him. I guess that's a yes. Mm, that's, I'm sure you and Eevee are going to go far. Uh, far uh, Midoriya. Same with you, Shin. So, new to us. We never give up on your dreams, kids. Uh, one day you can make them happen. And then, um, you know, uh, anyway, I'll see you at the farms. And then, then he flies up. I was like, wow, that was awesome. I was like, wow, never thought, I never thought I would... Uh, Ever meet All Might, letting all learn a secret like that. I know, it's amazing. Well, well, Evie, I guess, yep, I guess, it really is. I guess we should get going. Evie! And then, you know, returns Evie. Now, why did I give Deku and Evie? First off, Evie starts out pretty plain and normal, just like Deku did. But it can turn into something very powerful later on, just as Deku does. Specifically, though, it's more about which evolution I ended up giving him. Uh, later down the road. Because it ties back into Midoriya in certain ways. Lord Best, uh, as I explained, I, every Pokemon I've chosen for team uh, teams at this point, I've chosen for a certain reason. It has to do with something about the person. Like with with Asui, it's pretty simple. They're all frog-based Pokemon. With Shinso, it's A, based off his appearance, which can be kind of fright frightening to some, and B, based off his quirk, mind control, brainwashing. With Midoriya, there's actually a lot that goes into the choices beyond that. With Larvesta, I went with that as a starter because all for one is uh, sorry, one for all is always described as a burning torch is passed on. We see the fire inside each of them, particularly All Might in this fight with All for One, uh, multiple times. So I think I like the idea of the small flame turning into the big burning fire, and that's kind of what you get with Larvesta and Volcarona. Um, with uh, Tyro, it's more about which evolution I gave him, but honestly, both hit on Chan, hit on top, and hit on Lee. Both could represent the part of Deku when you really break it down. But still, it um, it came down to what evolution I gave him. Rufflet Element, that is more his character wanting to emulate his hero on some level. Uh, and Eevee, because of the evolution I gave it. The two remaining ones that are going to be on his team uh, are also 
tied very much to Deku in a certain way. So we'll, you'll find those out when I eventually give him those Pokemon. Until then, though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. I'll do a review of it at some point. And ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If. Anything to do with the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. Uh, I got Who Would Win Tomorrow, a Zompok Toe Theory video tomorrow, and the first part, uh, part uh, 20 in my 20-part series of the Strongest Captain, Class Shinigami, and Bleach. Uh, and I might do some reviews tomorrow. I'm not sure. I've got tomorrow on Monday off, so uh, I've finally been able to catch up on Daredevil Season 3, even though it's been out for years. So I got Punisher Season 2 and Jessica Jones. I'll be doing Netflix Marvel. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.